So today we're looking at Samsung's 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Uh, it's a two and a half inch form factor. It's got a three gigabit per second um, eSATA port and the power port's right here. A nice brushed aluminum faceplate. Looks very industrial, very sleek. Uh, overall, it's a very sturdily constructed, if I can make that word up, design. Uh, it's only 80 grams, so it's much lighter than your uh, than your platter based drives. Um, in our benchmarks, we uh, loaded up a uh, Crisis, and just uh, from the the moment we pressed the button on the application to load, to the point when the menu was up on the screen and you could interface with it, um, it took uh, one minute and one second. Uh, when we switched back to our hard disk drive, um, our normal platter based uh, media. Um, which is a Hitachi 7200 RPM drive. It took eight seconds longer to do the same thing. And then just in loading the first level, we also found that with the SSD, it was only 21.71 seconds. With uh, the normal platter drive, it was 28.16 seconds. So this little guy just blew the 7200 drive uh, out of the water. We also loaded up uh, Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway and we saw the same kind of uh, performance boost in terms of load times with the SSD. It was on average 8 seconds quicker. Um, Bethesda's Oblivion was not as uh, as quick with the SSD, but it was still a couple seconds quicker. Uh, so overall we're seeing good performance gains across the board. Uh, right now Samsung is uh, selling these OEM to you know, manufacturers like Dell and Alienware. Uh, you might be able to find one on eBay every once in a while, but right now that's not where they're going with it. Uh, but if you can find one of these for a uh, laptop or a desktop, um, and you have the money, these aren't exactly cheap, I highly recommend it. Um, for, just for its reliability, there's no moving parts, because it's obviously it's solid state. Um, so it's going to last a long time. And uh, like I said, it'll definitely keep the weight down in whatever device you're specking it out in as opposed to a big old heavy platter drive. The only issue is, like I said, it is expensive, um, and it's not going to be as large as, you know, the terabyte platter drives you can get out there. It's only 256 gigabytes, but for a dedicated, performance-minded gaming drive, um, you're going to get the best uh, loading times with this, uh, hands down. So if you have the cash and you're looking for a solid-state disk uh, for your notebook or desktop PC, um, I'd highly recommend the Samsung SSD. Again, it's pricey, but if you want the best performance, gamers know they got to pay for it.